I can't hear Jack, but I can hear Jill. I can hear Jasper. I can definitely hear Jermaine. I can hear Jordan. I can hear Jalissa. Hey, Power Director Peeps. How y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love. You know, the Power Director love you need from PowerDirectorUniversity.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to fix your audio in Power Director. If you're experiencing technical difficulties and you came into this video to get the problem fixed, I want you to put hashtag, please fix my audio, in the comment section below. All right, Power Director Peeps, let's jump off into the software and make it happen. Here we are in Power Director 17. Today, I'm going to show you how to fix muted audio in Power Director. Before we get started, I want to remind you to subscribe to Power Director University to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. And if you subscribe, don't forget to click on the bell to receive notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. Let's resurrect some audio. So I'm going to show you some ways to check your audio in PowerDirector. And then after that, I'm going to show you some ways to check your audio outside of the program. So follow these steps from step one through step whatever to make sure that you've covered all your bases. So when you're editing, find out you got no audio. The first thing that you want to check on is your timeline track. So if you look to the left of each timeline track, there is a little speaker and next to that, there's a box. So this box actually tells you whether or not your audio for that timeline track is enabled. So if I click on this and the check mark disappears, that means that I have no audio. If I click on it and the check mark comes back, that means that my audio is enabled. So while it's enabled, if I tap on the space key on my keyboard, you see I have audio. If I uncheck this box and I tap on the space key, no audio. So I'm going to enable this again. Now, the next thing that we want to check on is our preview window icon. So underneath our preview window, there's an icon here for audio. So we can adjust our audio or we can mute it using this icon. So if I click on it, we'll see that the slider for the audio is near the top. So we know we should have audio, but if this is all the way down here at the bottom, that means you have no audio. So if I tap on my space key, we hear nothing. If I go back to this, I move it all the way up, tap on my space key again, we have audio. Another thing here is if you tap on this icon, you see down here that you actually have the ability to mute or unmute your audio right here. So if you click on this and you see that there's a little line going over the speaker icon, that means that your audio is muted. So if I tap on my space key, no audio. And here you also see that it has a little line over the speaker icon again, showing you that your audio is muted. So if I click on this and I tap on this again, the little line is gone. And now if I tap my space key, we have audio again. The last option inside of Power Director that you want to check is to see if you are set to real-time preview or non-real-time preview. If I go underneath the preview window again, there's another icon here that says set preview quality and display options. If I click on that, it brings up this menu where you see an option for real-time preview and non-real-time preview. Non-real-time preview mode mutes the audio and displays a preview at a reduced speed to help make editing more fluid. So you might have enabled that in error or whatever. Who knows? I'm not going to put no blame on nobody. I'm just saying. But if you see that non-real-time preview is enabled and it has a check mark next to it, then that means that you have no audio. And whenever you choose that option, you do get this little pop-up window that says, hey, your audio is going to be muted. 
But if you check on this don't show again option, you're not going to get this pop up. You'll have to go back into preferences to enable this pop up to come back up. So I'm going to click on OK. And now when I tap my space key, I should get no audio. So if I go back to the display settings or preview quality settings and I select real time preview. Now when I click on my space key, I've got audio again. Fantastic. So those are the options inside of PowerDirector that you need to check. So let's check on some things outside of PowerDirector that you may need to check as well to make sure that you got your audio in check. So I'm going to minimize this. And the first thing that we want to check is our speaker icon. So I'm going to go down here to the speaker icon on my taskbar and I'm going to left click on it. And then we get this little pop up. So the slider here is your volume control. So you see it's set right now to 13. I can move it. And when I move it, it should actually make some sound and let me know that your audio is on. And here's the level that you just moved it to. Now over here to the left is a little speaker icon again, and it has little waves coming out of it that's supposed to look like audio. And so this means that it's enabled, right? So my audio is enabled, it's not muted. But if I click on it, you see a little X next to this speaker. This means that your audio is muted. So you need to go ahead and click on it. So you see the little audio waves to make sure that your audio is not muted. The next thing that you want to check on is to make sure that your application volume for power director in the system is not muted. So a lot of people don't know about this option, but even when you're outside of power director, you could actually change the volume of it, mute it, all types of stuff without even being in the program. And the way that you do that is you right click on this little speaker icon in your task bar and go to open volume mixer. Now here you'll see all of the programs that you have open or the applications that you have open as well as your uh, devices. So here on the right, you see this is power director because of the power director icon, the name of the project that you're working on. And right now I can tell that I have volume because I'm not at zero. I can move this up, I can move it down to zero. And if I have it down here to zero, that means that I have no audio. So I can move it back up. Now also, once again, there's a little speaker down here. And if you click on this, you'll mute the application audio for power director. And you'll see this little no symbol next to the speaker. If you see that there, then your application audio is muted. So you want to click on this to unmute it so that you see the audio waves. So let me close this out. So if you still have no audio after all of that, then you need to check on what your default sound playback device is. And the way that you do that is you go over here to the search box and you want to type in control or control panel and click on the control panel option. You want to go to hardware and sound. Under the sound category, you'll see an option called manage audio devices. And then this little box will pop up. So you want to make sure that you're on the playback tab. And then under the playback tab, you want to make sure that the correct device is selected as your default device. So right now you can see that the speakers are my default playback device, which is correct. Now, if it was incorrect, then I need to click on the device that is the default one that I want to use that my sound should be coming out of. And I click on that. And then I want to click on set default. And then it changes that to the default device. And then you just click on OK. Now, since this is not my default device, I'm going to change this back. So I'm going to click on OK. And I'm going to close this out. 
if after that your audio still doesn't work you need to update your sound card driver you need to know the manufacturer of the sound card driver you need to know the date that the sound card driver was created and you need to know the version of the sound card driver once you have all that information you can go to the manufacturer's website and check to see if your version of the sound card is the current version and if it's not then you can download and install that sound card driver and see if that fixes the issue now i'm not going to show you how to do all of that but i will show you where to get your sound card information from so if you go to search and you type in device manager you want to click on the device manager option and then you want to go down to sound video and game controllers and click on a little carrot next to that and then you want to find the device that you're using as your default playback device and double left click on that and then you want to go to the driver tab and here under the driver tab you can find the driver provider which is real tech the driver date and then the driver version so those are the things that you need to have when you go to the manufacturers or real tech in this case i would go to real tech's website and look for the driver for the real tech high definition audio and then i would check and see if this is the latest version and the latest date if it's not then that means i need to download and install the latest version so i'm gonna click on ok and if you install the driver update and it still doesn't fix your audio then it's probably your speakers or a connection somewhere so you need to check your audio connections check your speakers things like that now the quickest way to check and see if it's an audio or speaker issue is to connect headphones to your system to your pc your laptop whatever and then play the clips in Power Director and see if you can hear the audio through the headphones. If you can hear it through the headphones, if you checked all of that stuff and you can hear everything through the headphones, then it's probably something wrong with your speakers or your connection. And that's it, people. A whole slew of ways to fix the audio in Power Director. If you think that Power Director might be the right fit for you and you want to give this software a try, then I have some links for you to purchase the software in the video description. They are affiliate links, so if you decide to use them, I will get a small kickback to help me continue to create content like this for you. So, if you want to help me help you, use the affiliate link. Let's get the mute out of here. All right, Power Director peeps, I want to thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. Now, if you have a tutorial request that you'd like to make, go over to the video description and complete our tutorial request form. Now that I'm done with that, I got a few things I need you to do for me. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction, click on it. It lets people know that the content in this video is good and that they should watch it too. If you got any comments, questions, you just want to talk and chop it up with your boy, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash that subscribe button. And after you do, click on the bell. When you click the bell, you receive notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. That way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.